This is the install guide for the M600 enabled G2 firmware mod for the Artillery Sidewinder and Artillery Genius. Before we begin the installation process, we'll have to make some preparations. Start by using the link below to download the firmware from Thingiverse. The latest version will be listed in the title, 1.3.17 in this case. If we go to Thing Files, look for 1.3.17, we download it. When we open the file, the first thing we have to worry about is whether or not we have the correct CH340 USB drivers installed on the computer. We'll check that in the control panel under Device Manager. We're going to be looking for ports. I don't have anything plugged in at the moment, so there are no ports listed. If we plug in the printer, we see the ports category appear, and the driver is listed as ramps. That's not right. So we're going to right click, update driver, search automatically. And Windows was able to find the drivers online. CH340 is right. Next we want to configure Marlin. In this build it's in the Marlin Artillery X1 folder. I'm going to drag this over to downloads to extract it. Now we want to go into the folder. Look for the Marlin subfolder and double click marlin.ino. From here we're going to go to configuration.h and we have a category called artillery options where you can define whether or not you have a genius it's sidewinder by default or if you're using a BL touch you would uncomment this like that and your BL touch nozzle to probe offset can be set here it is defaulted to Wagster mod style wiring if you comment this line out you can use the Z min pin like the stock end stop and if you're using a 3D print beginner Z min sensor as probe you can uncomment this right here and you can set your nozzle to probe offset for that right here. If you comment this line out you can use S-curve acceleration which causes stuttering at high speeds with our 8-bit processor. If you have a BMG, a Nova, a Mera, a P100 or Triangle Labs V6 you can define those right here. And if you want to set your own steps per millimeter but uncomment this out and put the values of your choice right here. Once you're happy with your configuration we go up here and we compile the sketch. While that's compiling, we'll make the necessary hardware changes. Unplug the fan, give us some room to work. We'll grab the filament runout sensor from PB1. Our X Max is the empty orange port here. You might have to take hot glue out, I already have. Plug it in. On the other side, we pull the reset wire. We don't need that anymore. That'll allow us to flash without taking the cover off next time. We'll plug our fan back in. And that's it. Put it back together. Now we'll flash the TFT firmware. All we do is grab mkstft28.bin, the font folder, and the BMP folder, and drag them to an SD card. Now all we do is take that SD card, put it in the printer, and hit the reset button on the TFT. This error message is perfectly normal. It comes up because we have mesh bed leveling enabled, but no mesh data is saved. We just have to run the leveling procedure. Now that the TFT firmware is flashed, let's get ready to flash Marlin. Menu, Settings, Flash Firmware. It says you can now flash Marlin. Now that our printer is ready to flash, we can come back to our compiled sketch and upload it. I'm going to plug in the printer now. I'm going to expand the terminal so you can see what's going on. Click here to upload. There it is writing. Verifying. Marlin is now flashed. Now that Marlin is done flashing, touch the screen to exit the disconnect menu and hit confirm to send an M502 and M500 to initialize the new firmware. Now we want to finish configuring the TFT. 
go into feature you can select manual mesh or ABL I have a BL touch so I'm gonna leave it on ABL you can select sidewinder or genius I have a sidewinder and you can set the max temp of the nozzle to 285 for stock or 375 if you run a Nova one thing I forgot to mention is PID tuning you'll definitely want to PID tune the bed and the hot end it will automatically prompt you but if you ignore the dialogue you can find PID tuning in the menus later it will take a while so let it finish you'll know it's finished when the fan shuts off installation is now complete here you can set your motor steps custom g-code commands busy mode is basically your octoprint button this is what the screen will look like when octoprint is printing it will go to this menu automatically but if you need to force yourself into it for some reason that button is there and it's also here and when you want to change any settings while octoprint is running you'll have to go through an interrupt dialog From the main screen, you can send custom G-code. Touch the gantry area to get to the unified move menu. Here you can go to move. We have 10, 50, 0.12, and one millimeter. There's the home menu. Your ABL's there. That would be manual if you had manual selected offset, manual leveling, there's your center point if you're interested in that. This sends an M112 to halt the printer in an emergency. Now that we can use M600, let's briefly walk through implementing it in Cura. We need the post processing plugin from the marketplace. To use it, you go to extensions, post processing, modify G code, add script. We're going to use filament change because that's going to be our M600. The model is six layers high and halfway up it changes. So we'll say the fourth layer is where we'll want to pause. There's our indicator that it's set. Now we slice it. If you're looking for the technical details on how M600 is enabled in this firmware, check the video description for a link to my other video. This install guide was made for version 1.3.17 and it should still be current. If for some reason it isn't, there will be a link to an updated version in the description. That's it. Have a good one.